The state's fire management officer says crews are having a tough time getting an upper hand on some of these wildfires as finding water becomes an issue due to the drought. That's right. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is outside of Superior near where the telegraph fire is burning, looking at the challenges crews are facing. Colleen? You can not only see the haze of the smoke in the air, but you can smell it too. As firefighters continue to work to battle the telegraph fire and other fires around the state, but they're running out of options to help put them out. <coughs> While top of the world is home for Nancy Garcia, the telegraph fire left her with one option. We wake up two days later and they're telling us that we're going to have to leave. Evacuate for days. It burns some of that. The hills show evidence. And it went around. God, God only knows why but we were very lucky. Of how hard crews worked. Yeah. While Nancy's home, the fight continues on the telegraph and other fires around the state. These fires are spreading anywhere from four to five miles a day. John Truett, Arizona's fire management officer, says mother nature isn't helping, leaving dry, thick vegetation and water difficult to find. The, the seasonal ponds or even some of the stock ponds, they're, they're dry. So our, our pilots are really having to search uh, a long and far to find water sources. They couldn't take water out of the San Carlos Reservoir either. What we were being told is historic low, uh, very, very low water levels. True, it says even their fire retardant isn't as effective as it should be, leaving only an option. Get rid of that vegetation ahead of that, that fire. And that's all we really have left as a tool. What do you need now? Oh, we need some rain. Truett is also asking for the public to obey the fire restrictions that have been put in place and making sure things like chains are tied up so fires aren't inadvertently started. We're outside Superior. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.